Hello again everybody, this is John with BestPriceNutrition.com. Today I'm here to tell you how to calculate the cost per gram of protein so you know actually what you're paying. And it's not just as simple as, hey, let me just calculate the cost and then boom, whatever's cheapest is best. There's other variables to consider. Right off the bat, you want to uh, talk about like, the amino acid profile, which is going to vary from protein to protein. Uh, for instance, a whey protein is very rich in BCAAs, so is casein. And then let's just say whey versus casein, there's also a difference in terms of how full one makes you feel. Casein tends to be a little more filling. So maybe if you're dieting, you might want something that's going to have a blend of maybe whey, casein, egg, just as an example, because you know you want to curb your appetite a little bit, kind of help with those hunger pangs. Um, or, hey, I, I personally I like whey around my workouts because it's a little lighter. It's not too heavy in my stomach, so it doesn't hurt my performance. You know, that's something I talked about in the you know, pre-workout you know, video, talking about, hey, what can, what shouldn't you eat, kind of the things to consider as far as that. Um, other things to consider um, with it are the way the protein is filtered. So, for instance, with whey, you know, no pun intended, hey, is it micro-filtered, is it uh, CFM, is it uh, ion exchange, you know, a video on whey explaining that. So there's other things, too, to determine the quality of the protein. With whey, what we're talking about is biological activity of the subfractions. So consider all those things. So what I have here, I have three. I have Isoflex, which is a CFM whey protein isolate. Right here on top, you'll see that it's a 90% whey protein isolate. Um, what's nice about it is there's virtually no fat or carbohydrates in it. So pretty much what you're getting is just protein because that's something else to consider. Do I want the accompanying fat and carbohydrates? Well, that completely depends upon your goals, your caloric goals that you set for a given day. If you don't mind the extra fat and carbohydrates, that's fine. Um, if you're lactose intolerant, well then you're going to want something like a whey protein isolate or an egg protein that doesn't have any lactose. So those are other things to consider, the calories and stuff. Uh, I also have the, just for comparison's sake, I grabbed another one from Almax. This is the All Whey, which is a cheaper version from them. This is a whey protein concentrate and isolate blend. Um, it's 81% protein per scoop. So you get a little bit more fat um, and a little bit more carbohydrates in here. Again, if that doesn't, you know, bother, I mean, these are low numbers. We're talking, what, one gram of fat and three grams of carbohydrates. So it's pretty low, um, you know, all things considered. But some people are really, really counting their calories. Maybe you have a show or something like that. I don't know. And I don't know how much of that you're relying upon for your protein in intake for the day. I don't know how much you're getting from food. I don't know how much you're getting from powder. Um, next one is muscle milk. Uh, muscle milk is known for taste. Um, you're talking about 6 grams of fat per serving, 9 grams of carbs, and 16 grams of protein. So when we calculate the cost, the real simple thing to do is simply take the amount of grams per serving, so in this case it's 16, multiply by that by the number of servings per container. So I pre-did this math because I'm not going to do it in my head because um, quite frankly I would screw it up. Um, protein times servings per container for the muscle milk. There's 512 grams of protein in this container, which is 2.47 uh, pounds. So I take that uh, number and I take the price. So I take the price and I divide it by 512. So in this case, we sell this for $27.99 and there's 512 grams of protein. That shakes out to 0 0.055, so about five and a half cents per gram of protein is what you're paying. Now, fat and carbohydrates, the reason why you kind of dismiss those is they're kind of cheap, you know what I mean? They're added to, they're, they're fine, they help with taste. If you don't mind them in your calorie count, but really what you're paying for with the powder when we talk about protein is the protein itself. That's really where the cost is. Um, but again, you've got to weigh that out with how much, how valuable is taste to you? How valuable is, you know, how full you're going to feel from something? How something sits in your stomach? Those are other things that you want to consider when we're talking about a protein powder. Um, I took Isoflex here, and total on this one is, again, it's servings per container 75 times the protein 27 grams. There's 2,025 grams of protein in here, um, virtually no fat or carbohydrates. So our price on this is $87.99. You divide that by grams of protein, it's 0 0.043 um, cents per, per gram of protein. So uh, it's a little uh, less than a full penny. It's a little more than a full penny cheaper than muscle milk. Um, but you know, people see that price and they say, well, $87.99, the other one's $27.99. Where, where am I shaking out? Well, you see that's actually cheaper per gram of protein. So that's, uh, that's pretty important. 
Okay, all the way. Now this was the way isolate concentrate blend. Um, again, servings per container times the amount of grams of protein per. That comes out to 1,825 grams of protein. Now the price on this one is only 52.99 divided by 1,825 grams. It's about three cents, 2.9 on the head. So, uh, I'm sorry, 0 0.029. So it's about uh, three cents per gram. So it comes in as the cheapest. So you've got to think about these things when you're, you know, buying your protein. What what am I looking for from it? Um, you know, what about the cost? What are my goals? What's my calorie intake? Things like that. I'm trying to think if there's anything else. I feel like I'm missing something else that I wanted to talk about as far as giving you guys things. I see. I made a few notes here. Taste I talked about. The method I talk about. Um, you know, other minerals, vitamins, stuff like that, and a given powder. You know, that's usually not why you're taking a powder. It's usually you're taking it because, hey, you want the protein. So got to consider all those factors when you're buying a protein. So there's not a one-size-fits-all answer I can give you because we do get those questions a lot in the comments. I can't say, oh, definitively, it's got to be this one. Well, again, as usual, it depends. Depends is always the answer. So um, I think, yeah, I hope I was able to answer that question pretty well and give you guys some guidelines on how to do that. I hope you find it helpful. If you have any other questions on this, go ahead and post them in the comments section of the video or blog. More than happy to answer them. Also, you could check us out at uh, facebook.com slash bestpricenutrition. Thank you.